Uh, put some new twists on festive favorites this holiday season. Yeah, Dina Kupfer is standing by with some healthy ish <laughs> holiday hacks. You know what? It's 2020, so we're going to call these healthy ish. Okay. Okay. Because okay. okay. anything okay. goes. Uh, yes, this morning we are joined by Heather Smith of the Hot Bar. She joins us from Colorado. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Okay, so you have three wonderful items, and for the vegans and dairy free people in the world, you're going to be very excited about all this. Okay, Heather, let's first yeah. start, though, with the salmon because I love salmon around the holidays. Yeah, first off, this is my super food for a full meal, a full holiday dish with literally zero cooking or prep. Who doesn't love that? It's called honey smoked salmon and it is truly fresh salmon. They marinate it, they honey smoke it, and then they just seal it in a package. So it's truly ready to plate and eat. Super simple. This is like a whole meal, super easy crackers, cream cheese, and all that really nutrient dense salmon. Um, it's incredible. The high source of clean protein, low in cholesterol, vitamins, loaded with omegas, never anything artificial, no sugars. And when a quick and healthy meals are needed these days, it's perfect. You can find it at Costco or Walmart and there's never that fishy taste. Yeah, especially if you're the person in your family who doesn't cook and you don't get to see those family members this year because of COVID, now you have something easy to make. Okay, let's get to the treats. Let's get to the healthy treats. What do you have in the middle here? Do. So my super swap sweet treat are planet oat non-dairy frozen desserts. So we all need a little indulgences still, especially in 2020. There's nothing wrong with looking to your freezer for that little extra joy. So these are all made without dairy. Um, it's planet oat, oat milk that's used in here, but it's that rich, creamy, delicious scoops you're going to get. Um, to satisfy that frozen treat craving. And so they have six different pints. They've got a coffee fudge swirl, a peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter swirl, blueberry oat crumble, and you can find them at Safeway or Rayleigh's. Okay, and then finally, I used to like eggnog until I found out I was lactose intolerant, and then I realized I can't really drink it anymore, but you've got an alternative for me. I do. So my healthiest hack um, on that favorite festive beverage, I made plant-based chocolate eggnog with a candy cane, a little bit of cinnamon, a little extra cashews for that texture. But brand new this year is Planet, um, excuse me, is Rise Brewing Co.'s oat milk. So you have Planet Oat oat milk and their frozen treats. And now Rise also has an oat milk. So the trend is there. And these are also plant-based, slightly sweet. Or they use organic oats and they're dairy-free. Um, they're so comforting, delish. They've got vanilla, original chocolate. And then I also want to point out great stocking stuffers. Something like the Rise no Nitro Brew cold, um, Coffee is great. You can put them in gift baskets. We're giving them to the teachers, even though our kids are remote. Oh, and, you know, those delivery people, check out Rise Brewing Co. They've even got tea. And we're not going to coffee shops as more. So having this at home and getting that coffee shop experience is so amazing in my book. Everybody. I love it. I love all of them. Heather, we are out of time, but we're going to have the links to all of these items on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I do love more and more companies are coming out with the milk alternatives, the dairy alternatives. So don't be scared to drink the eggnog this year to my fellow lactose friends. <laughs> there is an alternative. All right. Thank you, Heather. Cheers. <laughs> Bye. Back to you guys. At first, I thought she was talking about uh, eggnog with clam based. And she said plant based. Oh, boy. And I thought she said clam, and I was like, Ooh, well, ooh, that that's different, but no, no, plant-based. I guess with the salmon, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Dina.